game's in the Admiral Refrigerator. The door is closed, the lights out. Butter's getting hard, the eggs are cooling, and the job. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, as always. So today's natural hair tutorial will be a mini twist protective hairstyle. Now this is one of my favorite hairstyles that I love to do either in the winter time or just when I don't feel like doing my hair for a longer period of time, all right? So it's super simple, slightly, okay, let me stop. It is very time consuming, um, but it is gorgeous once it is done. So as always, stay tuned so I can tell you exactly what you need to achieve this hairstyle. A comb, a brush, a spray bottle, hair pins, hair ties, blue magic, and eco styling gel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you wanna do first is divide your hair into four large sections. So as you can see with all of my little pony puffs, it is already divided into four sections. And so you wanna go directly down the middle and directly across, all right? And you do wanna make sure that your hair is like evenly distributed throughout all of the parts, all right? And so what you see right here is I did a side part just because I like my hair to fall on this side when it is down. Okay, so now you are ready to get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the front parts of my hair just because I can see them and it'll help that part go a lot easier. So what I like to do from here is I like to do my twist starting at the bottom and then go up just so everything that I have done will fall and it won't be in the way of anything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this whole section of my hair and then you can add more as needed as you go through. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to begin to part this side of my hair with the pieces that I want to twist. All right, so your part should look something like so, and you're just gonna continue to part it similarly to how you do your box braids. And I do want my twist to be somewhat small, and so your box or your plait should look something like this, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is coat my scalp and my hair, primarily my scalp with my Blue Magic. So I'm just gonna go around the box, and I do love to use Blue Magic because it is a grease. My scalp is going to be out and exposed, and so it needs to be hydrated and all of that good stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my gel around the edges and just all the way down my hair, just so I can ensure that my twist will hold. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush my edges and so now you're ready to twist and I'm going to flat twist as much as I can and then just single strand twist the rest of it. And I do this so the tops of my hair do not get puffy and I don't have to worry about that part messing up as quickly as I would if I didn't flat twist it, okay? But that's just a trick I like to do with my twist. And you're just going to begin to twist your hair. And also um, with you flat twisting your hair, it's gonna allow for your hair to fall where you want it to fall adding gel as I need it. And then I'm just gonna twist all the way until I can't really twist anymore. And so I'm just gonna continue to twist the hair all the way down. And now you are done with your first mini twist. And it should look something like so, all right? And so now you're just gonna repeat this step all the way through this side of your hair. Okay, so now all I really have left on this side is like the bang area and the top part of my hair. So what I'm going to do right here is again, just divide this in half. All right. So this part will be majority of my bang right here, as you can see. And then this is just going to be the extra part of my twist back here. I'm going to go ahead and part this in half like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to twist from here okay my love so this is what we're looking like the first half of our hair is done so all right so here is a side view of all my twists and I really just wanted to show you guys this right here how I did my bang um, I wanted it to curve up and fall so it wasn't too low in front of my face and hanging all the way down and extremely uneven. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side of my hair. I'm scoring. I'm scoring. I'm scoring. I'm scoring. I'm scoring. 
Okay, my love, so half of the battle is already won. The front half of my hair is now complete, and this is what it looks like. All right, and I just wanted to show you guys something quickly again. You can see that I've kind of flat twisted up and back for this side, so to make sure that it is indeed separated. So we're just gonna keep everything going, and now we are going to move to the back of our head. But continue to do the exact same thing. Part it one row at a time, and continue to make your boxes and twist. All right, y'all, we are officially finished, okay? But this is it, y'all. This is my final product. So here's the side, the front, the other side, and the back. Check me out, y'all, with the back parts, okay? It is official time for us to wrap our hair and go to sleep. So, um, I'm also going to show you guys how to wrap your hair. So, as of right now, my hair is laid as I want it to be. So, then what I like to do next after that is I like to separate my hair in the back and put it toward a side. None hanging really directly in the middle. Okay, so now that all of that is complete, I like to apply my scarf from the back. So, something like so. So what I'm going to do from here is just wrap around and then I'm just going to continue to wrap around All right. and then I'm going to wrap one more time and then we're going to tie it in the back and now look something like so and then the bow in the back. So if you need, you need that extra protection, ain't no shame honey, I am quick, you hear me? I'm a wild sleeper, alright, you got to know yourself. I like to just go ahead, throw that bonnet on the top like that there do it just like this all right so as you guys know ain't nothing changed i will be back for day two to show you how i style my hair all right so i'll catch y'all later hello everybody it is now day two and this is what my hair looks like i am so pleased with it so all i did so far was i unwrapped it and i did a little bit of this and a little bit of this and some of this <laughs> Um, as you can see, they are still very defined, they're clean, they're curled at the bottom still. So I'm going to give you guys a full view of my hair. So here's the right side, um, the back, the other side. And as y'all can see in the video, shrinkage is real. So if your twists are a little shorter than what you prefer, no worries, it happens. It'll get better over time, okay? I'm going to show you guys how I style my hair a little bit with this. And so feel free to do whatever you want with it and be creative, okay? Alright, so first what I like to do is just grab one bobby pin. And then I normally like to pin this side back like so. And then stick a bobby pin in something like so. Alright, so super quick. Super simple uh, and super cute. Y'all know how I like it. So, so feel free to do whatever you want to do. You can always pin up the other side as well. Sometimes I do like to do that. Um, or you can leave it all hanging down. You can pull it all back. Just whatever floats your boat. So I really love this hairstyle because it can go with anything. You can dress this hair up or dress it down. So you do put a little time into it, but you get so much time out of it. All right. So I always think of it this way. 10 hours for one day to get about 10 days out of it. Y'all, that is like over 100 hours. Okay, so it pays you back tenfold. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always, all right? So be sure to like, share, comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.